Thank you, Jess. One of my children was uh, constantly in and out of clinics uh, due to respiratory related illnesses. And uh, every time I would ask the, the doctors what, what could be causing this, you know, reoccurring all the time because we don't have the same uh, systems in the bodies, you know. Some people are affected the more, some people are more like susceptible to this, to a poor air quality. So I was told it's because of the air around us, the air he breathes that you know, causes him to fall sick all the time. This was a bit resource intensive because it required shifting from where we were living to another place. I think uh, that was in 20, 20, like before the lockdown, before the lockdown. Actually, I think we've all witnessed that during the lockdown time, the air quality was, was better. So I was like, now, since we have this time, because I didn't know that the COVID would hit, but before the lockdown, we were already planning to, to, to shift to a, you know, a better place. You've seen the environment around, you know, surrounded with trees and all that. So we have a bit of fresh air. If you have too much uh, uh, particulate matter, uh, it can cause uh, some uh, immediate effects like irritations, uh, coughing. Uh, however, uh, some people who are maybe asthmatic all have TB. It can co it can worsen uh, their uh, health st health state. It can complicate their breathing uh, and. So it, it is a, a concern which we should get worried of. If uh, I'm having uh, maybe uh, problems with water, I can buy bottled water so that I don't take that water food and try to look out for better food. Malaria can try to sleep in a mosquito net, but air quality you're not going to do much. It's going to find you, whether you're rich or poor, you're going to breathe the same air. So if it's dirty, you won't really do much against it. And, uh, so we have the innovation at least to try to monitor so that you can influence actions. We have a lot of dust, we have uh, uh, many unpaved roads. We find that the, the devices that we uh, help uh, monitor air quality with them, they would uh, fail really fast. So uh, this uh, meant that we had to engineer something unique that can combat uh, not only a few that I've mentioned but so many other challenges and uh, while still providing accurate data. So we are targeting mainly uh, two categories. One is what we call decision makers, 
or people in government, people with authority who manage our cities. They need data to be able to act on our air quality. They need to know which places in the city are more polluted than the others. At what time does the air quality get worse? At what time is the air quality good? Which places have good air quality? And then once we have this data, then we can be able to inform actions.